basic, of, relating to, or forming a base, or fundamental. Something that is an essential ingredient, principle, or procedure. There's been a lot of videos come out lately about basic perfumes, and I think that sometimes people think the term basic has this underlying negative connotation. Lackluster, not interesting, boring, not a good perfume. I disagree with that definition. I think that basic means something that is fundamentally important and necessary for everyone every day. Most of us live our lives doing very normal everyday things. Going to the gym, cleaning our house, taking our kids to soccer, going to work, maybe painting our nails if we're lucky, doing basic everyday things. Unless we are one of the Kardashians, we're probably not living these really exciting, high profile, photo shoot, black tie affair type of lives all the time. And I don't want to wear Gucci Guilty or Baccarat Rouge or something like that when I'm literally just going to the post office. Even though I think sometimes, especially when you're trying to build a collection, you kind of are looking for like the best of the best and you declutter what you find uninteresting or you just don't love them that much. But some of those perfumes that we would think are very basic are actually some of the most important perfumes you can have. It's kind of like having a closet full of amazing, beautiful clothing and still having nothing to wear. You need those basic, everyday, fundamental pieces and this really got me thinking about perfumes that I have in my collection that either kind of have like a bad rep or some people might think are too basic or too overdone that I still absolutely love and I have absolutely no shame in my game in wearing them and I recommend them to you guys so today we're gonna talk about those basic perfumes and if this is your first time on my channel thank you so much for stopping by my name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk mostly about perfume so if you like that kind of thing head on down and hit the subscribe button and without further ado let's get started so the first kind of basic, not that special fragrance that we'll talk about is Ariana Grande REM. So if you guys watch my channel, you know that I absolutely love this one. This is a celebrity fragrance, obviously. It's a little bit of a gourmand. It's got a bit of a saltiness to it. It's got lavender. It's like a gourmand meets a salty dryer sheet, which sounds really bizarre, but it's actually really good. So it has like a sensuality to it. It kind of smells like clean skin with a gourmand touch if you're wearing like a freshly laundered t-shirt. I love this one for cuddling up on the couch. I like it for like Netflix and chill. And I know when I got this perfume, like back in the beginning, I was thinking to myself, like, do I really need this perfume? Is this one I can really be proud, so to speak, to have in my collection? And then I was thinking, and I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter about pride or if you're proud to say you have a perfume, you just have to love the way it smells. I love the way this smells. And yeah, this is the only Ariana Grande perfume that I currently have in my collection. Um, yeah, and I love it. I get pretty good longevity. It has a little bit of a sexiness to it as well. So that is the first one, Ariana Grande REM. Super basic, super not special. Really, really like this one. The second one is Victor and Raw Flower Bomb. So the reason I'm including this one in this video is because obviously this perfume is way over popular. It has been popular for years already. Like this is no longer a new it perfume, but I think it's still just as amazing today as it was when it first came out. I absolutely love this perfume. It's one that I think I'll continue to wear even if I feel like everybody else is wearing it too. I just love the way that it smells. So this is a tea fragrance. It's a floral fragrance. It's very sweet. It's kind of along the same lines as Livia Bell. It doesn't smell the same as Livia Bell, but it's kind of along those lines. It's just a really sweet, sweet, good grab and go perfume. Yes, it's popular. Yes, a lot of people wear it, but it still remains one of my all time favorite perfumes in my collection. And it has like this versatility about it. You could wear this one for a date in the evening, but you could also wear this as a signature scent every single day. So super versatile, really long lasting, amazing performance, very sexy. I absolutely love this one. And my third basic fragrance is Kaeli Vanilla 28. So Kaeli sometimes gets a little bit of hate um, out there in the fragrance world because some of the fragrances are not that long lasting. So this one is often compared to the Body Works. I think it's warm vanilla and brown sugar. And it does smell like that quite a lot, but this one has also, I think, a little bit of vanilla orchid in it. It has a bit of a twist. This is honestly, you guys, one of my favorite, most enjoyable vanilla fragrances. As you can see by the dent that I've put in it, I have worn this one quite a lot. This is just a really easy grab and go. When I don't know what to wear, when I want to smell feminine and good and vanillic, which I do a lot of the time, especially in the fall and winter when I'm looking for that perfect 
just grab and go without thinking perfume. This is that perfume. I know that I smell good when I wear this. I get compliments when I wear this. It's very feminine. Again, you could wear this just for like a daytime scent or you could wear it for the evening for a date. It would be a great like intimate bedroom kind of scent because it's not too overpowering or in your face. It just smells really good. So yeah, this one is one that I think a lot of people think is not that special and it's not super high end by any means. It's not like it costs an arm and a leg, but yeah, it's one of my favorite vanilla fragrances. I also have to say, I absolutely love the bottle. The bottles look beautiful sitting on a shelf. The next one is one that I told you guys about a year ago. I thought was kind of um, not that special. So I thought that this one was just a little bit too like, I literally think I used the word basic. Like it smelt just very sweet and like berries and I just didn't think it was that special. This is Valentino Donna Born in Roma and the reason that I ended up going out and buying this one is because I kept seeing so many people talk about it and every time I would go and smell it in the store, I would think to myself, that smells really good. Like maybe there's a method to the madness. Maybe there's a reason that so many people seem to really love this perfume and that's kind of my opinion about a lot of these so-called like basic overworn perfumes is there's a reason why so many people like them. So this one is a berry vanilla scent. There's also some woody notes in here. It's kind of along the same lines. It really reminds me of La Via Belle Intense Mint, which is the raspberry vanilla perfume. This one is definitely very like berry vanilla. It smells, in my opinion, like a pretty girl. It's just like that quintessential pretty girl perfume. And as you guys can tell, I don't know if you can see, I haven't had this bottle for very long. I literally just got this a few weeks ago and I've already put a huge dent in it. This one I wore, I think nonstop for like three or four days and it's just like easy. It just smells good. And every time I put it on, yes, sometimes I think, okay, this smells very basic, but it's a day that I'm just spending the day with my partner, maybe going for a walk, maybe grabbing a meal, hanging out at home, watching a movie. It's the perfect perfume for that. It makes you smell feminine and sexy and delectable, but without being over the top. So yeah, it's basic, <laughs> but it's basic in a good way. So that is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I think I'm going to burn through this bottle pretty quickly. And yeah, it's just like kind of a staple. The next one is Juicy Couture Gold Couture. So I love this perfume. If you guys watch my channel, you know that I really like this perfume and I have no shame in saying that. I think the Juicy Couture perfumes have kind of a bad reputation and even myself, I sort of started to adopt that mindset a few months ago because so many people um, just talk about like Juicy Couture and Viva La Juicy as though they're just really not that great of perfumes. And they're not, I mean, they're not that special. They're not that high end, but I have to say, I think nobody does it like Viva La Juicy does it. Yes, they're sweet. Yes, they're young. Yes, they might be considered a little bit like stripper-esque or like, you know, a little trashy, dare I say. You know, some people consider them to be those kind of perfumes, but sometimes you want to smell a little bit like that. Like sometimes you want that perfume that just makes you feel like flirtatious with no inhibitions sort of. And that's kind of what this perfume gives me. I love Gold Couture. This is also one of my boyfriend's favorite perfumes on me. He loves Gold Couture and Bodacious and pretty much all of the Viva La Juicies. They're just very flirtatious and fun and carefree and they are the perfect intimate scent. Like if I don't know what to wear and it's like intimate bedroom times, this is one of the first perfumes. In fact, it is the first perfume I think about because it's just that kind of perfume. It's just fun, it's sexy, it's playful, it's flirtatious. It doesn't have great lasting power, but it doesn't have to have great lasting power. And yeah, I really like it. So I think that even though the Viva La Juicy fragrances get kind of a bad, kind of a bad reputation these days, you have to remember that when Viva La Juicy first came out, it was so, so popular. It was like the it perfume. And I think to this day, I think no one does it like Juicy. That's just my opinion. I know that some people will say this is very trashy or very juvenile or very whatever. I don't really care. Like I understand that it's that kind of perfume. And to be honest, I think every woman needs that kind of perfume, like one of them. So yeah, I love this one. This is Gold Couture. This is my absolute favorite of the Viva La Juicy fragrances and I have zero shame and I will definitely repurchase this. 
And the last very basic, very overdone, very tired perfume that some people really hate and that has such a bad reputation and it's really unfortunate is black opium. I love black opium, you guys. So if you watch my channel, you know that up until this point, I have had the black opium neon. To be honest, I like most of them. I like the Nuit Blanche, I like the neon, and I really like the original. So believe it or not, the original one is the only one that I've never actually tried on my skin. It was the only one that I've never Never really had in my collection. I decided I wanted the original black opium in my collection. I've been smelling it at the store lately and even though I love the neon, I think there's nothing quite as good as the original. Zero shame, I love this perfume. And I still see a lot of people talking about this perfume on their channels and saying this is like their ride or die, they will always have it. Not perfume reviewers per se, but just like general YouTubers. like. The typical youtuber who is sharing her collection so many people just love this and there's a reason for it because it does smell good it's sweet it's vanilla it's a little bit of coffee it's sexy i know a lot of people would say go with montal intense cafe i have to say i prefer this over montal intense cafe i just find this one to be a little bit lighter a little bit sweeter and a little bit more fun and not quite as strong or intense personally i don't love intense cafe um, I've had that one and I've let it go. I just, I really like this one. <laughs> I really like this one. What can I say? I just adore the way this smells and it's just like an easy flirtatious, good for the evening, good for a casual date night, good for a grab and go when I don't know what to wear, but I want to smell good. I know I'm going to smell good when I grab black opium. So yeah, I love it. I don't care if it's overdone. I don't care if it's too basic at this point. I don't care if everybody has had it. I still love it and I think there's a reason why it's so popular. So that is my last one on today's video of my shameless basic perfumes, Black Opium. So that was it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these perfumes. Please let me know down below what is a sort of guilty pleasure or favorite perfume that you have that maybe some people would consider to be a little too basic or not that great. Let me know down below. I think all the power to some of these perfumes and I think power to the basic fragrance. <laughs> and if you guys haven't already, feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys all next time. Bye for now.